you know, thoughts on the game. I thought it was an unbelievable college basketball game. Um, I do wish there was some more people here to see that because uh, that was an outstanding performance by both teams. Um, you know, I thought our guys stayed tough. I'm proud of the effort. I'm proud of the fight. Um, you know, we need to get a couple more stops in a game like that and a couple more rebounds. Uh, but despite that loss, which nobody is happy about, uh, there is, pro there is a, a, a moving forward of our team off that game um, and progress of our team, our team's development off that game. Um, six games in, you've played some tough teams, or pretty much most of them. Is this where, I don't think it's where you thought you'd be record-wise, but do you like the way the team is playing? Did you think it'd be playing any better or, or worse at this point? Uh, well, we have played some really, really good teams, and I'm glad we have. And, um, you know, we're, uh, we're probably a few minutes away from being 4-2 and two instead of 2-4 and four against some really, really good teams. Um, so, you know, in terms of where I thought we would be, you know, I don't really have uh, points during the season of I want to be here, I want to be here. I want to go to every game. I want to play really well in that particular game, and I want to win that game. That's all I concentrate on. I'm not saying our team should be here at this point, here at this point, here at this point. I do think today's game moved us forward without a question. It moved us forward. Now we have to keep moving forward. Uh, how do you guys feel about six games in and, and where you're at um, just through these games? We feel fine. We, like Coach said, we take everything one day at a time. We look at one game at a time and try to concentrate on winning that game. Uh, like he said, we're four minutes away from winning some really close games against really good teams, and we just got to focus going forward on being better in those last four minutes. What do you think is keeping you guys from making those few plays you need to win the game? Well, like today, um, in the game, we couldn't get a grip on grip on them on defense. And there was a lot of times they came down and they scored the ball where we, could, where we should have got stops. So, like, you could see that we're going to score, but it's just the matter of getting stops when we need to and rebounds. I think that's the big key to winning these games. You mentioned the defense. I was going to ask to follow up on that. Just what do you guys need to do? Are, are the issues you guys are having that end correctable? Do you feel like? How do you feel like you can get better on defense? Well, it's definitely correctable. We just gotta like play with more pride and more just more effort. And I think that will help us get stops. Which we are playing with pride and effort on the defensive end. We just have to get better at it. There's things we have to get better at. We're not, we're not lacking effort. We're not lacking where guys don't care about guarding anybody. We're, two things are happening. We're playing some really, really good teams that can score the ball. And number two, we just got to get better at it. So it's not a pride thing. It's not an effort thing. It's not that you know we don't want to play defense. We just want to shoot the ball. We just have to get to a point where we get two or three more stops and two or three more rebounds. And that will come because these guys work and they give a really great effort every day in practice and in every game. And that's going to be part of our development moving forward. It seemed that size disadvantage was a factor tonight. Has that been a factor in a lot of these defensive performances? Um, you know, size is always a factor, but we're not going to use that. You know, the ball comes off the glass, you got to go get it. You know, the ball's loose on the ground, you got to go get it. Um, you know, whether you're 5'11 or you're 6'11, you got to go get it. They, they don't give you, you know, they're not spotting you four inches on a rebound. You got to go get the ball. So, um, you know, there is size. We definitely have played a lot of size, uh, but you got to go get the ball. You guys are scoring, the two of you are scoring more points than anybody, any two teammates in the country. Are you approaching these games as if you need to keep scoring at that level, or how do you, what's kind of your mindset going into offensively what you guys have to do? We just try to be aggressive, try to set the tone, try to make, a, make it hard, make our team hard to guard every night. That's the, the main thing. Right, to add to that, we got so many guys that can make a play on the floor that it's not just us two that, that we got that they got to worry about. Like, we score a lot of points, but it's still they got to go all five of us on the court and whoever is subbed in. Chris, are you searching for more offense from other guys, or do you, are you happy with these guys taking this high volume of the shots? Uh, I mean, I think we're, we're getting offense from some other guys. I mean, we had four guys, I think four guys in double figures yesterday. James Towns has uh, 13 today. You know, uh, Dom chips in with eight. 
on six shots. You know, we got other guys. Moab gets a six. You know, you don't have to get uh, 20 to be chipping in. I mean, you know, these guys scored, yeah, but, you know, basically it was half the points, you know, or and then the other guys are picking that up and they're scoring too, you know, and it's not like um, we're not passing the ball. I mean, we had 27 baskets. We have 15 assists, you know, and these guys get assists. You know, if you look at them, they're among the assist leaders in the league. So there, there's not a, you know, there's not a domination of the ball by any means.